Today I'm putting Atticus and Scrivener head to head to see which one really comes out on top. Hi, I'm Jonathan Milligan. I'm the author of over 12 books and I've used both Scrivener and Atticus to write and publish them. And in this video, I'm going to give you my verdict, which one is better. Now, Atticus and Scrivener are two powerhouses in the writing community, each with their own strengths and weaknesses. And as writers, we've all been there, stuck in the never-ending cycle of research, reading reviews, and asking fellow writers for their opinions. But in the end, it all comes down to one question. Which tool is the best fit for your unique writing needs? Now, one of the biggest challenges that writers face when choosing a writing tool is navigating the vast array of features and user experiences. Atticus and Scrivener are no exception. Both tools promise to help you write your best work, but they approach the writing process from different angles. For example, Atticus is known for its simplicity and distraction-free interface. Scrivener boasts an impressive array of features and customization options. So how do you decide which one is right for you? Let's dive into a detailed comparison of Atticus and Scrivener. First up, let's talk about the ease of use and interface. Now, Atticus is renowned for its minimalistic designs, what I prefer. And this is perfect for writers who wanna focus on their craft without distractions. The interface is clean, intuitive, and it's ridiculously easy to use. And it makes it an ideal choice, especially for new writers or those who just prefer a simpler setup. Scrivener, on the other hand, has a steeper learning curve, but once you get the hang of it, the customization options are virtually limitless. But to me, I think Atticus is still the clear winner here. Number two, writing and editing features. Now, when it comes to writing and editing features, both tools offer an oppressive array of options. Atticus has a robust outlining system, which allows you to organize your ideas and structure your chapters with ease. Scrivener takes it a step further though, offering advanced features like corkboard views, outliner modes, and even a built-in research folder. However, Scrivener's sheer depth of features can be overwhelming at times, especially for writers who are new to the platform. As a nonfiction writer who prefers simplicity, I still give the nod to Atticus here. By the way, if you want access to a free email course on how to write a bestseller in 90 days, you can find the link in the description below. Number three, customization and flexibility. Now, customization and flexibility are areas where Scrivener truly shines. You can create complex templates, structure your chapters in infinite ways, and even customize your writing environment to suit your needs. Atticus, while not as feature rich, still allows for some customization, but it's clear that simplicity is its primary goal. Scrivener is the winner here, especially if you're a fiction writer who values places to store your world building or character bios. Number four, book formatting. Now, when it comes to book formatting, both Atticus and Scrivener offer some great options, but they take different approaches. Atticus stands out for its straightforward, one-click, book formatting feature. You can easily export your manuscript in multiple formats, whether it's Kindle, EPUB, or print, with just a few clicks. This makes it a fantastic choice for authors who want a quick, professional-looking book without diving too much into nitty-gritty details. And that's what I prefer. Scrivener, however, offers a more advanced and customized formatting experience. It allows you to control nearly every single aspect of your book's appearance, margins, fonts, front matter. While this level of control can be a dream for authors who love to fine tune every detail, it can also be overwhelming at times if you prefer a streamlined process. Now, if you're someone who wants full control of your book's layout, Scrivener might be the best tool for you. But if you wanna keep it simple and efficient, Atticus wins this round. By the way, before we get to number five, are you enjoying this video so far? If so, take a moment and hit the like button or even hit subscribe and turn that bell notification on so you'll get notified when a new video drops. All right, number five, price and value. Finally, let's talk about this price and value. Which one's better here? 
Scrivener comes in at a one-time cost of $59.99, which is quite reasonable considering the robust set of features it offers. However, it's important to note that Scrivener is a desktop application, meaning your work is saved locally on your computer. While this can be convenient, it also means you need to manually back up those files to avoid any loss of progress. Ask me how I know. It's actually happened in the middle of one of my books is my computer completely went down. Luckily, I had chosen the backup file to be my Dropbox file, which was also stored online. So you can do that, but just be aware. Now, Atticus, on the other hand, is priced at 147, making it a more significant upfront investment. However, the higher price tag comes with some added benefits. Atticus offers both a browser-based version and a desktop app giving you the flexibility to work and write from almost any device. Plus, it automatically backs up your work to the cloud, providing an extra layer of security and peace of mind. You can even download your file and put it into Google Drive, which I do occasionally to doubly back it up if you want. But I just love that it's automatically backing it up somewhere for me, even in the middle of my writing. Now this cloud functionality ensures that your writing is always accessible and safe no matter what happens to your device. So what's the verdict here? Well, Atticus excels in simplicity, ease of use, affordability, making an ideal choice for new writers or those who prefer a distraction-free environment. That's what I prefer. Scrivener, on the other hand, is a powerhouse of features and customization options making it perfect for writers who thrive in complex ecosystems. Ultimately, the choice between Atticus and Scrivener depends on what you value most in a writing tool. At the end of the day, choosing the right writing tool is about understanding your unique needs and preferences. Atticus and Scrivener are both exceptional tools, but they cater to different writing styles and approaches. By the way, if you've used either Atticus or Scrivener, I'd love to hear your experience in the comments below. And if you want to see how book formatting works on Atticus, then check out this video right here.